Well, as the Australian Open draws to a close, it's not all doom and gloom because there's one more killer's preview. And I've brought out the big guns, the man who, the top analyst in the world, Patrick McEnroe. Thanks for joining us, Patrick. Killer, it is an absolute pleasure to be with you. And a privilege at that. Absolutely. And what are you up to these days? Well, let's see. Ten years as Davis Cup captain came to an end this past year. It's taken so. its toll on you, hasn't yeah, it? Yep, I've lost a few. Got a few extra colors over here. Good. But uh, Mr. Courier is ready to take over. He'll do a great job. And so now I'm uh, just that old ESPN analyst and trying to help American tennis back in the, with the USTA. So it's I got a lot on my plate. You do sound busy, well, mate. I know you're the guy to talk about this match. Andy Murray up against Novak Djokovic. Play quite similarly. Give us your thoughts on the match. Well, I think it could be a long one. It should be, I mean, both guys have worked really hard to get this opportunity again, and, uh, you know, it should be fun. I think, obviously, Murray's got a little more variety in his game. He's got a little more maybe finesse and guile, uh, but I think Djokovic is maybe a little bit better aggressively, taking the ball earlier as he did against Federer. It looked great there. So I think, um, you know, I probably give the slight edge to Djokovic, but I think if Murray can kind of start to make the points longer and use all his feel and finesse and, and serve as well as he's been serving, uh, I think if Murray can get it to four or five sets, I like his chances, but boy, Djokovic is playing with a lot of confidence. So I, I'm, I'm sitting squarely on the fence in this one right now, Killer. Absolutely. Do you think Murray had a tough match last night? Do you think that's going to take it out of him? I hope not. I don't think so. He's done a lot of off-court work and he's extremely fit. So, uh, you know, I know he's having a light hit on the day before his day off. So. He should be fine. This is what they train for. Uh, and in fact, I think it's the last couple of years, the guy who just had one day off is actually one. So maybe Novak's had too much time to think about it. So who knows? Well, Novak's certainly been in great form, and I'm probably going with him. Patrick, I was expecting more from you, but thanks for joining us anyway. Well, you know, we'll try again next time, Killer, yeah. but I'll leave it to you. <laughs> All right, well, we can't have the English. They came out here, they stole the Ashes off us. Now we yep. can't have an, well, he's not English, but a Scottish player come out and take our Australian Open title home. So join us here next year on Killer's Preview.